Oh, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Zach and I today are fishing down here in Brazos Park East. We're going to be looking for crappie. That's what our target is. Um, lots of squirrels playing out here today. But Zach found a spot some guy was telling him about where there's supposed to be pretty good crappie uh, hanging out. So we're going to fish it. I've got a Black Widow crappie jig that was sent to me by Mr. Brad from 4B Baits, which, by the way, he sent me some pictures of some new bass baits he's working on, and I am pretty excited about these. He said that the action is really, really good on them, but I like the color. They kind of look like Iron Man. And as you can see, we now have kayaks. I surprised Joel and John and uh, bought us all some kayaks. And they're sponsoring our trips coming up. Um, hopefully, we're going to start catching some fish. Uh, I know we're planning a trip to the Guadalupe River, which will be a lot of fun. I've always wanted to go there and camp out and fish. And we're going to take a weekend and get out there and see if we can't catch anything. I'm joined once again this morning by Zach, who has become more of my kayaking uh, companion. Showing me around a lot of different spots. This is the spot that he was talking about. There's a gar or carp. Was that big gar? Yeah, big gar over there in the top of the water. Water's incredibly still today. Fishing on a 128T, a Sin from Bass Pro Shop slash Cabela's. Nope, back's on. That is a little drum. And I am stuck. Yay. Hello. Hey, Brad, what's up, man? I don't know much. What's going on, bud? Not much. I have a question for you. So I'm currently. Sure crappie fishing with a buddy of mine and we're trying to see who can okay. catch the first crappie and uh, I figured since you're my crappie expert I'll cheat and use some advice from you. <laughs> okay. um, water's kind of greenish stained, not super clear. What would you recommend color wise? I'd, I'd match the water more than you match the hatch. So uh, something in like a baby bass if okay. it's kind of green stained, I would go something with a baby bass. Green or uh, uh, what baits are you using? Uh, the ones you've sent me. So I've got multiple okay. different ones in there. Yeah, any, anything greenish or bluish in color. So maybe not chartreuse? Uh, chartreuse should be okay as well. For the record, I did not just call a crappie expert. Well, I thought I finally... No, he's too small. thought I finally came across some crappie, but uh, I did not. But I'll take it. A little stripe. Not a bad way to uh, finally put a fish on the board. Let's uh, release him. I'm pretty sure I just found a school stripers. <laughs> Yep. All right. I'm not catching crappie, but I will take it. Take it one for me. There's Exxon, four crappie, and now I've caught two of these little guys so far. Let's see if I can't make it three. <laughs> Large mouth. Cool. So <laughs> I'm not going to catch crappie today. I'm assuming it's just going to be every other type of fish on my crappie baits that I was so kind of given. Oh. 
Fantastic. Well, at least I'm not getting skunked. That's three fish now. Uh, but no crappie. Let's get him back in the water. All right, Zach, tell us how we did today. Quite well. Quite well. Ended up catching 10, kept six. Uh, all crappie? Yep. Uh, tell them how I did. Quite well. No, it's a dirty lie. <laughs> no, nah, you did quite I well. I caught zero crappie. <laughs> but you did catch how many bass? Three? Uh, three largemouth? Three, and then I lost about four. And uh, You caught two whites? Two stripers. Yeah, two no, stripers. No, they weren't whites. They were stripers. They're, They're just stripers. stripers. Good deal. Two um, stripers. So we're pulling in. I also stuck big bass of the day on a crappie jig. About a three pound largemouth. Is that a meat bag right there? Man, we're about to go flay these uh, crappies, so we'll join y'all here again in just a second. I got two that are my personal best. Crappies. Two PBs. Two PBs. So we'll join you again when we're ready to start flaying. All right. Alrighty. Here we go. So Zach's gonna show us his fillet methods real quick. All I like to do is go right in behind the gill plate, like so. And this is with all fish. Come down along the spine. Now I might screw these up because this is the first time flinging a crappie. I hear Rammstein and I'm about to start jamming, just so you know. You don't gut them first? Nope. Mm -hmm. I just do it as such. I feel like that's a very dangerous way to do this because you're well cutting into the guts. And it doesn't look like you did, but I mean, <laughs> you sure as crap came close to it. Oh yeah. You come close, but you never get through it. Now a feeling we're going to get a lot of people saying that's not the proper way to do this, so we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> 